I've just bought a couple of new tools for my workshop. Excellent new tools which I'd like to show you today. I've got this one here which is an all-in-one high-end digital rework station made by Keska or KSGER. It's the STM32T12. It's a combined unit so you have the hot air gun and the soldering iron all in one system. And to go with this soldering station I've bought this one here which is a really high quality um, extractor type bench top fan made by Noev's Big. It's a 110 volt unit so I've had to get a um, transformer from 220 volts to 110. It has a carbon filter in which the smoke is drawn through or the fumes from the soldering. So it's excellent for soldering and it's also excellent for pyrographic work. So the Keska unit comes um, with this bracket here off in the box and a couple of screws, so you've just got to screw that one on. The unit is made of high quality thick aluminium throughout, so it's about 5mm thick. I've actually taken the side off and had a look inside, it's really um, well built. And they say it's one of the best or the best rework stations on the market. And that's because you can get about 90 different tips for the um, soldering iron. You can get all different types of uh, soldering irons themselves. It's a five pin um, plug assembly, the screw on collar. The rework um, heat gun is permanently fixed to the unit. And the whole unit is fully programmable. So you have a top um, switch for the soldering iron and the lower switch for the um, hot air gun is a switch and control knob combined so if I actually press and hold the knob at the top here the menu is operated and I can go through that menu on, on different um, settings and set all the different things like standby, boost, cold end there's about 17 um, different settings, I think. Let's have a look now. It's Yeah, 17. 17 is the exit mode, so if I press that again now, I'll go back into the um, standby or the sleeping mode at the moment. And it's the same with the heat gun. You can press this knob here, and the settings come up in the menu. You have all different settings in that one as well. Uh, what I like about this one as well, it's got like a buzzer, so you know when it's reached the certain temperatures or the um, standby mode or the standby temperature and it's fully automatic so if I use the heat gun when I take it out of the unit it comes on I'll just go back into the running mode or the exit mode there So I've set mine at around 200 degrees centigrade. As soon as I put it back into the holder there, it recognizes that and is taking the temperature down at the moment before it goes into the standby mode. It keeps running like this so that it uh, cools down first with the flow of the air and then stops at a certain temperature. And I think that's a really excellent design. You set the um, temperature you want it to run at. I've got mine, like I say, around 200 there. And it recognises it on that um, bracket. What I like about this is that um, if you put it this way up, um, the air is blowing away from the unit as well. I've seen other people where they have the um, gun around the other way and if you do that you have a tendency of heating up the power cable. So it's best like I say to put it in the unit this way up. It does recognize it both ways around um, for turning it off or turning it into standby mode but like I say it's best this way round. Also the soldering iron is um, fully automatic as well. It's, it's got a shake mode on it so as soon as I pick it up and um, move it the temperature will um, come up. At the moment it's on sleeping so um, there we go it goes into um, working mode now 
And then if I put it back into the um, holder there, you don't get this holder with it, this is one that I've already um, bought. After a certain period, I've got mine set for about a minute I think, um, it will go back into standby mode, it'll give a few bleeps I think when it's about to do that. And I shortened that minute a bit by the um, video, make the video a little bit shorter. As soon as I pick it up again, the switch is operated inside the um, soldering iron and it'll go up to the working temperature, which I've set at around 340 degrees centigrade. So this is a closer look at that unit and this is the on off switch for the hot air gun. If I turn it off I've got it set so that the time and date comes up on the um, screen saver which is an excellent feature. So you've got something on there if you're not using the heat gun. And I do like the surround light on the uh, button there, nice and smooth to operate. And on the camera it's showing that the screens are flickering. This is not so in use, it's um, perfectly still. I'll just show you the menu for the um, soldering iron on the top here. So press and hold, the menu comes up and then I can go through that. So you've got standby, sleep, boost, turn it the right way a minute. So you've got standby, sleep, boost, cold end, tip end, and that's another um, great thing about this unit, it actually recognises the tips that you put in the soldering iron and tells you what they are on the screen, gives you the number of them. And then you've got password, you've got stepping mode, which you I've set mine around um, 5, I think, 5 degrees, screen saver, buzzer, desolder mode, pump um, set, a zero adjust, power on, language, version, initialization and exit. So I'm in the exit um, choice there so if I press and hold that one it will exit that mode or that um, menu. And then on the heat gun, press and hold that one, and the menu comes up. You've got the stepping, cold end, buzzer, um, op prefer, screen saver, password, language, system info, date and time, and RTC adjust. ATC initialization and initialization on number 12 there. 13 is exit. And the rework station comes with four different types of nozzles or four different diameters. And what I like about these um, nozzles on this unit here, I'll just turn the heat gun off so it doesn't come on when I pick it up. What I like about them is that they push on the end and twist to lock on the end. So I can't pull that off or um, it won't fall off at all in use. Some of the um, cheaper guns have um, ones that are just push fit and they tend to fall off. This one locks into place, like I say, by twisting. So I have to twist it back before I can take them off, a bit like a bulb fitting. And the actual soldering irons are absolutely exceptional, nice and lightweight. The um, cable at the back here is um, very supple and uh, easy to manoeuvre, lightweight again. And what I like about the um, soldering iron, I'll just um, switch the unit off at the back there. Um, you can just remove the tips even when it's warm, you can actually quickly take off the 
collar there, pull out the tip by holding the ceramic part and replace it with another one. And I think there is about 90 different tips that you can actually buy for this um, T12 soldering iron. So this is what the unit looks like when you get it in the box. I've taken the bracket off the side here and it's just a simple bracket with a couple of screws. Be careful you don't lose the two little screws when you get them in the packet. Like I say the unit is made of nice solid aluminium and what I like about it is it's been screwed together here with allen bolts. It makes it look such good quality, which it is. I'll take the side off in a moment to show you inside. At the back here, it's one of these um, push-on type plugs and I cut the two pin plug off or whatever was on the end there and put a um, British plug on there for the um, mains. And then you have this on off switch here. And the other side is just plain. Plus it's got four nice rubber feet on the underside. So now I've taken out the four Phillips screws on this side here, countersunk screws, and I can pull the lid off now, or the side off. And like I said, it's uh, f about five millimeter, four or five millimeter thick aluminium, anodized black, so it's not painted or anything. And this is what it looks like inside. It looks all really well made, nice quality stuff. So I'm really pleased with the workstation I think it is actually the best one that you can actually buy on the market and if you want to have um, a further look at it have a look on the Banggood listing I'll put the links below also I've heard that Kesker or KSGER are a really good company to deal with if you have any questions you can actually phone them up about this unit and find out anything you need to know and just before I finish, I'd just like to say that this fan unit is a very heavy unit and it sits nicely on the bench. Like I say, it comes with um, about three different or three um, carbon filters. And it is a nice large fan, but just remember it's 110 volts, suitable for the USA market. You can get different ones um, like this um, for 220 volts. But you can get the um, adapter or the um, power um, 220 volts down to 110 volts from Banggood as well. I actually like this one. Um, like I said, it's really well made and works excellently. And it's got a fairly long cable, which is really good quality. And the switch for the unit is actually on the cable.